Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to change the sky in your images. Now, first things first is you want to load your image into Photoshop, and you can do that by going to File and Open. And then once you've selected and loaded your image into Photoshop, first things first is you want to find a sky that you want to replace it with. So, say this picture here, and I want to replace it with the sky picture in this one. So first things first we're going to go to our image that we're going to take the sky out of so we want to get rid of this one so we're just going to go to the quick selection tool we're going to double click our image to take the padlock off and then click OK and then we're just going to go over and make a selection now if your sky is like one color which this one is so it makes it a lot easier to select then we're just going to hit the delete key like so and then press Ctrl and D to deselect. Then from here, we're going to go to the other image. Now, if you've got an image which is just sky, all you need to do is drag and drop. But if you're taking a sky out of a image like this one, where it's got C underneath, and I need to take the image uh, out, basically it's the same thing as we did with the other one, the other image. All we do is go to the quick selection tool. We go over. You might have to make quite a, a lot of selection. Now gonna have to zoom in a bit and go to the top and take the minus brush one and we're just gonna go along taking the stuff that we don't need like all this we don't need so we just go along now once you've made your selection like mine like so zoom out a bit and we're going to go to the selection tool which is on the right hand side and we're just going to drag this click and then drag to our other image like so and drop it on now we put it on we're going to click Control and T to free transform now here is we're going to make it large enough for the sky and we're going to uh, click the tick icon because I just did that like so and all we're going to do is drag that layer down the bottom and there you go it fits in perfectly now if you have a, another image like say this one now this one I you know I took the sky out of this image here so I put it in this one like so now if you've got something like this, when you make a quick selection, you want to make sure that you go in between all the little grooves, like so, like that. Now in these, uh, in this image, uh, when I put the sky in, there was a lot of uh, lightness around the uh, stones and the people, and also the trees. Now if you get that, what you can do is uh, hold down the control key, and press on the image that doesn't have a sky, like that, you want to go to, um, you want to go to, let me have a look, I have lost it now, can't find it, refine edge tool, sorry, and you want to bring up the contrast, and you want to do the uh, shift, uh, the edge and decontamination also, which is an awesome tool. Now these will, basically if you zoom in, it will definitely look like you've cut it out. But with using these tools, it will soften the edge and make it a lot better. Now once you've done that, um, you can play around with the uh, controls, get it the way you want. Now once you've done that, you want to click OK. Now sometimes this doesn't get rid of all of the contamination thing so you want to zoom in now sometimes you'll see like say here's a bit of uh, lightness to that rock that doesn't actually go with the background now what you can do is go to the burn tool and then zoom in and then just select that image and then just burn the tips you want to make sure that you uh, you've got the range on mid tones and I'm going to put the exposure to 100% because I'm working quickly here but you don't have to work at this uh, same speed you can take it down a notch and then just go a lot slower the more time that you spend on it 
the better it will be. So that was the tutorial and I hope this helped uh, you changing the sky in your images. So please comment, rate and subscribe and also please visit my website and the link is in the description bar and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.